Hello guys, welcome back. We were last left off. Who is deciding whether to go help Bavaria or not? And I actually got a few comments saying we should. So let's go help them. My army might not make it there though. I mean they might, but uh, Sweden's right here. So we'll have to see on that. And I don't think there was anything else I could really do this turn. Besides, uh no I can't even get any boats ready. Although, I don't need this many militia in France, so... Let's, uh, stand next to them. Actually, no, that's just horse artillery. We can take that. Uh, you know what? Because they're gonna probably cheat me out of this, I'm gonna fight this battle. See you then. There we go. Roman bayonets have finally tasted Swedish blood. Hopefully the first of many. And now, Amsterdam. Finally, we can take it back. Uh, maybe? Yeah, thank God. Finally, my empire has been connected. My German regions are finally connected by land. And Sweden is completely cut off. Gonna need to... Oh, God. Well, uh, I should have seen this coming. At least Sweden... Actually, Sweden might actually have to come back. If they want to get Amsterdam or... At least take some of their troops out. So in either case, I win. And I think that's it for this uh, turn, so... Next turn. Well, Sweden's gonna be a pain. Uh, they're gonna annihilate my economy. Well, I have to leave, I guess. And they just go straight for them. Well, go down fighting. Yeah, defeat. They just took a bunch of trade ships, I bet. Oh! Really? All the cannons, all the line infantry. I don't think I can defend this. Should I try and defend it? I guess I'll do it off screen. So, see you then. So yeah, in the end I decided I am gonna record this because it's interesting, I guess. My plan here is to just whittle them down. Why are you outside? Oh, you're the reinforcements. Yeah, I got some reinforcements in from my other city. Gave me four militia units. Now I'm trying to just hold them off as best I can and, like said, will them down before they get to Bavaria and my main army can then take them out. But if I'm really lucky, I will break them here. I am not going to be that lucky though. I can almost guarantee that. I'm facing two armies and I don't think I'm actually stopping them here. Got me here. Couldn't ball neck them. Uh, you're not needed over there. You need to keep squashing them in. Every man dead is a man we don't have to face later. That's a famous Roman proverb. Right now, just made it. Unless somebody else made it before me, then I'm sorry. You're probably going to go outside, so I, just to be specific, I need you up there. You go there, and you, what can you go? Uh, oh, you're, you're getting shot. But I don't want you opening the gate, so, just, let's back attack them, I guess? Still haven't answered the question of where you're going, I guess just go there. I don't know what's happening. It's a blur. They're can still firing at me. I think they're trying to knock out the corners of my wall. Or just missing. Who knows? What is Sweden doing? They had tons of line infantry. Where's it all gone? Unless this is all it, I guess. Huh. If so, then we're not doing that bad. 
I mean, we're still losing people. But we're not doing that bad. I'm just lucky this was a star fort. We've actually killed quite a lot of them. So even if I lose, I'm gonna class this as a victory. But I don't know, actually. Are we turning the tables? Well, if you open the gate, then you're not. Don't let them in. For the love of all that is good, don't let them in. Okay, how's it going over here? Uh, fine. They haven't tried to climb up, so... That's good news. Try and shoot them. Give them some fire support, I guess. You know, when you're ready. Good. I didn't want to bring them in in case they stumbled through the gr the grate, the gate after them. Yeah, there they all are. The walls coming down, it looks like. Okay, abandon this win. We need to go over there now. I said now. Don't just stand there. Did you not hear the trumpet? We should excel at melee. Should. And we have killed quite a lot of them, like I said before. Just try and block access whenever we can. Damn it, if only got my ball next uh, a bit quicker, but there was just too many of them, and my men were spread quite thin. Who knows, uh, we could still probably not pull this off, but uh, who knows. I think there's more of us than there are of them, so we got numbers at least. Okay, my men have run off. And they're about to come up. Should probably just keep trying to pay attention to this side. Oh wait, what's going on? Are we actually breaking them? Before they break us? Who will break first? Uh, Sweden! Oh, thank god. That could have gone either really good or, or really bad and... Thank God it went really good. I might just wait out the clock. Because I don't know if I can actually take, uh... Oh, they're sending in reinforcements. That's where the rest of their troops are. I thought they was all here. Oh, wait. They're sending out their goons. Or they already sent them out. Huh. Anyway, uh, if it comes down to it, I'm gonna wait out the clock because I don't want to charge out against Ken's in case my entire army breaks. Etc, etc. Wow, we actually secured this. If I break a Swedish army, two Swedish armies, right here, with barely any militia, mostly citizens, actually I think it's mostly militia, but that's despite the point. If I break them here, this'll be the greatest victory since Spain. And it'll be against my greatest enemy. I mean, Poland's a good enemy. I respect Poland. But Sweden... They're cunning. Deceitful. They need to die. And I need to stop them from coming up. Leg! They've actually got... Chevrons on their men, so... Yeah, a lot harder to break them. General, uh, I still need you here. To make sure your men don't run away. Thank God they're just funneling all the men up this one point. I think we've regained the bottleneck. Anyway, that's it for this part, folks. So thanks for watching, and in the next part...
either breaking Sweden's two armies here or not. So, see you then.